am going to try to get through this uh, video quickly um, <laughs> because I know I can just sit here and just start talking, 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 so I don't talk much. Um, <laughs> So as you can see from the title, I want to talk about, you know, how my second trimester has been going with this pregnancy. And, um, and of course, there's the question of, you know, why is this happening again? And I don't mean the pregnancy. So, because uh, <laughs> that's a whole conversation in itself. But anyway, so... With this um, trimester, um, the morning sickness did ease up, um, but I, I still have days where, you know, I don't feel well, and eating or drinking certain things still don't, um, <laughs> still doesn't sit well with me or the baby, I guess, and, um, but, and it's like, it's the things that I want, <laughs> Um, so yes, yeah, so I am feeling better and I am, you know, figuring out, you know, how to manage it or whatnot. So in the mornings, that's when I teach, um, VIP kid. And right now I have my schedule set where I teach, um, two lessons, uh, back to back. I'll do two sessions and then give myself a break. Um, because I tried doing three lessons back to back. And it was torture. Sometimes two lessons back to back is torture. But I think as long as I, you know, just drink water and don't really put any sugar or anything on my stomach until after I'm done with all of my um, lessons, um, I'm good. And as long as the room stays cool, because I can get really, really hot, like all of a sudden. And y'all, I'm sitting there teaching you know, I'm sitting there like this, like, you know, saying, you know, well, I don't have any flashcards right here for me to grab. I'll just grab this envelope. So I'm just sitting there, you know, like going over the lessons and saying the words. And then I just, I feel like I want to tell the student, I'm like, I hope like, this is what I want to say. Kid, I'm about to pass out any second because that's how I feel. And I'm just like, oh, gosh, I'm getting ready to, like, pass out for real. Like, I just, I, ugh, it feels terrible. But lately, I haven't been eating anything until I finish all of my classes. And so I just drink a bottle of water. Um, this, so it's not going to show up on here, right? Here we go. It's all pixelated. Um, and so yeah so that bottle I'll drink like that entire bottle like during my morning sessions so if I have lately I've been having like a lot of 7 30 and 8 o'clock classes so in that hour that that whole bottle is like gone so yeah um so that's how I am doing with that so morning sickness has finally you know subsided for the most part like it's still there but it's not as bad and I'm doing a very good job of managing it I think um let's see what else what else okay well obviously baby moves like crazy so the way this baby moves reminds me of AJ so I'm like I'm gonna have another really active <sighs> another really active kid yeah um so um uh let's see what else what else what else other issues well this isn't really an issue but it's been a concern but uh weight gain I haven't uh well I've gained weight I start off first semester first semester <laughs> first trimester losing weight because of the morning sickness so second trimester the weight has been picking back up but it's mostly the baby in my belly 
So it's, it, it feels like, you know, the baby and lots and lots of fluid because obviously, as I said, I do lots and lots of drinking because um, some days I don't even feel like eating. Some days I don't want to eat. Some days I don't have any desire to eat. I just, I just want to drink. And I'm like, I wish I could just drink all day and just get all of my nutrients that way. Um, but yeah, that's not happening. So, <laughs> so yeah, so the weight is uh, picking back up. So I'm trying to manage that and, you know, really, really, really get going with eating properly. So that way I'm not like just steady adding on just excess weight, okay? Because um, I don't want to do that. Because um, even right now, I want to I wanna lose the weight back. Like I want to lose it because right now I feel like I'm at the max for pregnancy for me. Um, yeah, because like five more pounds, I'll be at the weight that I was right before AJ was born. And y'all, I'm coming up at the end of second trimester, like six months. That's, that's a lot of weight. <laughs> so I got to lose it. Um, so basically, I just figure I'll lose it by just eating properly. You know, eating properly and just trying to stay active. Now, there's the other thing, being active. Okay, it's hard for me to be active um, because not only was I dealing with, you know, morning sickness, first trimester, so now second trimester, I'm dealing with, you know, the aches and the pains now. So I'm dealing with um, the uh, round ligament pain, which is terrible. Um, <laughs> see, it made me want to roll my eyes. Just get on my nerves so it's like right in my right hip area and some days it feels like my whole like just this whole hip area just feels like it's just it has exploded <laughs> and it hurts and it makes me cry and yeah so when people say things to me like, you know, oh, you going through this well and, you know, things like that. And it's just like, what are y'all talking about? What are y'all seeing? I'm, I'm hurting. I'm crying. <laughs> yeah, so obviously emotions are all over the place. Like, just all over the place like if I want to go and fix me a snack and realize like the bag is empty I'm not only upset that I'm not getting the snack that I wanted but I'm also upset that why is the bag in there if it's empty you know <laughs> so and, and I'll just cry it out yeah so yeah, emotions are crazy. So when I went to my doctor's appointment for my 20-week appointment, that's when we did, you know, the ultrasound and did the, uh, the well, official uh, gender reveal and everything, found out the gender of the baby, and um, which I will share that with you all in a later video. <laughs> but when I went for the the 20 week appointment um we learned that my placenta is not where it's supposed to be and it's a low lying placenta so it's lower and it's closer to the um then the it's closer to the cervix than it should be cuz it's supposed to be up at you know the top of the uterus not down at the bottom. So this is the same thing that was going on with Amari and eventually led to my preeclampsia, which led to me having to be induced on the spot, <laughs> you know, just going in for a regular doctor's appointment. And yeah, but of course, having to go to the hospital like twice a week um, 
for stress testing and all of that because my blood pressure was just super, super high. And yeah, so I'm just hoping that none of like this uh, doesn't lead to all of that again. Um, and I'm sorry, y'all, if I'm doing like a lot of squirming, but yeah, like I said, I mean, y'all know I'm pregnant, so these seats are like not comfortable. <laughs> um, so yeah, so with the low lying placenta, um, you know, I have to take things easy, I can't, you know, do a lot of you know, heavy lifting, um, and I need to listen to my body more. <laughs> And so that means when it wants to rest, I need to do that. And, you know, like I just said, taking things easy. And, of course, it also means no whoopee, which makes hubby very sad. Um, so, yeah. Um, because with a low-lying placenta, because I had to go do my research. Um, so because of a low-lying placenta, um, you know, extraneous, um, activities, extraneous, anyway, um, <laughs> activities can cause, you know, um, irritation and cause bleeding and yeah, and which could lead to even more problems. So we don't want that. Okay. Um, so yeah, <laughs> So I'm just like, why is this happening again? Like, what what is causing this? Why is this happening? And there's really, like, no answer for that. So I think we'll get it checked again, I think, at either 34 or 36 weeks, I think, for that um, that last, you know, anatomy scan before uh, delivery and we'll find out where that placenta is at and yeah see what you know what direction we're, we're going to be going with that and which is another reason why I'm trying to make sure I eat right also because I don't want that issue with the blood pressure again even though that may happen just out of my hands but still I still want to be doing something um, to, like, help avoid all of that and not feel like I'm just, you know, contributing to it, you know? Um, so, yeah, so that's pretty much what's going on with the second trimester. And now that I'm, you know, I'm home and whew, it is nice to be able to um, to stay, to be home you know, going through and dealing with all of this. And then with school starting back, I'm just like, yeah, I, I would not be able, I would not be able to survive. Like, I would be miserable, you know, because, like, I already have to go to the bathroom, like, every 10, five minutes. Um, oh, that used to irritate me so much when I was pregnant with AJ. It's like, I would go to the bathroom, finally make my way back to the living room, Finally get myself settled on the couch and doggone it, got to go again. <laughs> so I got to get up and know it all again. <sighs> yeah. So, yeah. So that's the thing um, with the second trimester. Like if I was still like working outside of the home, I would be so miserable. So it's nice to be able to be home and to really manage, you know, my work schedule. Um and everything so it's not bad <laughs> not bad I was gonna say not bad at all but that's that's not true um <laughs> it's not as bad as it could be yeah that's what I will say <laughs> um let me see is there anything else um anything else let's see now watch i'll end up ending the video and then finally think of something i'm like oh i forgot to include this yeah there is one more thing though like y'all i am like huge now remember i said second trimester six months 
I am huge. And I told y'all I'm five pounds away from the weight that I was when I delivered AJ. I delivered AJ at 41 weeks. <laughs> Right now, as I am recording, I am 27 weeks. So I'm right at the end of second trimester, okay? I'm going to show y'all, and hopefully I can, I'm going to show y'all how huge I am. And so my screen there just went black. But look at how huge I am. Huge. Huge, I tell you, huge. <laughs> huge, I tell you. <laughs> So, oh gosh, I'm hoping that this is just all like fluid because of all of this drinking that I am doing. Because as soon as I finish recording this video, that's where I, what I'm going to do. Go get me something to, to drink. Um, <laughs> that's one thing I love about pregnancy, though, is that I fall in love with water. Because when I'm not pregnant, it's like I do not want any water. But while I'm pregnant, I love it, and I just love the taste of it. And I wish I felt that way when I wasn't pregnant because water is, like, like legit good. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so that's what I'm dealing with, second trimester. And, yeah, so, of course, I will be back with another video to update on how third trimester Um is going once I reach third trimester because there's a lot of things that are going to be happening and going on during third trimester. So we're going to see how I get through it. Oh, yeah, we're going to see. <laughs> All right, so until then, I will catch y'all next time. See y'all later. Bye.